Was your literary career influenced by your mother's totally, poetry? Totally, totally. Yeah. I mean, I was very influenced. My first book, you know, when people write a first novel, it's often an autobiographical novel. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a biographer, my first book, which was my student thesis, uh, Eliot's Early Years, was biography. Um, but it was my mother's book, I'd say. My mother was, as I said, I didn't, and it was a, a point of contention between us that I didn't go her way. Her dream in her later life was to do with what T.S. Eliot called the sequence that culminates in faith. Mm -hmm. And it's a very well tried sequence over the centuries gone by. It's there in the life of Jesus Christ. It's there in the life of, of Joseph and Jeremiah, the great figures of the Old Testament and in the Israelites wandering in the wilderness for 40 years before they come to a promised land. I mean, it's, it's always, it's, it's a journey and it's, a, it's, being, it's going through a place of darkness or of trial, of being in a pit or in Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan, it's a slough of despond. So it's, it's, there's a very set pattern where you are undone. I mean, the story of Samson would be another version of it where his hair is cut off mm -hmm. and he's imprisoned by the Philistines. And my mother would often quote from Milton, Samson, Agonistes, oh, dark, 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 amid the blaze of noon. Such a wonderful line, mm -hmm. you know, about what it feels like to be blind. And my mother, for, for my mother, that would have been a metaphor for the, the dark night of the soul. Because according to that story, narrative, you are unmade and then remade in a purified way. So that is the path my mother followed and it is the essential path of T.S. Eliot's poetry. And I wouldn't have been able to find my way through that path in Eliot's poetry because his poetry on the surface is very difficult. Mm -hmm. It's very modernist and full of literary allusions I wouldn't have recognized. But my mother was such a keen reader of Eliot that she showed me that path through his poetry. And it became, I wrote that biography and it became a very accepted way to read Eliot. Would you ever publish any of your mother's poetry? I would love to. Mm -hmm. What I've done, because she, she, she bit like the American poet Emily Dickinson who was like my mother, ill, perhaps in a similar way, a solitary, um, writing poetry on her own, not publishing. My mother believed she, w what she didn't want to publish, mm -hmm. and yet she wanted to be published eventually. And I think I used to say, do it, don't leave it to me. Uh, but she, she did leave it. And yeah. so that would be my dearest wish. If I had to make a wish, say at Lady Anne Barnett's pool, I think that's what I would most wish for, that I could publish. I think her poetry is great. Mm -hmm. And it is all about the spiritual journey. Mm 